What was that? What was what? It looks like you took me away from Sapphire. Let me warn you. Do not talk to Sapphire. Don't even go near her. Keep your distance from her. Huh? Why? Babe, she is planning on doing something bad to you. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Uh, okay then? So do you understand? Um, yeah, I guess. Good. Is this true? Sapphire wouldn't do such things right. I know she is known as Aphrodite Stalker, but I'm sure she has a pure heart. Ooh, look who it is, my two besties. Fuck you, Sapphire. It's because of you I'm in a wheelchair. Because of me. Axel was the one who threw you out of the window, right? Well, if you hadn't forced us to steal money from those people to give the money to you for your so-called wedding that you badly want with your biggest crush, Aphrodite, then none of this would have happened. Plus, how the fuck do you know it was Axel who threw me out? I know everything. I'm doing everything in my power for the love of my life, Aphrodite. Ugh. Let's go, Sydney. She is crazy. Oh, bye, my friends. Chee-chee. Chee -chee. I heard that Sydney came back to school after several months in the hospital. It's really thanks to you, Axel. I'm sorry, okay? Look, it's not my fault she kept asking for money. I had to put her in her place. Well, it's good that you put her in her place. But not by throwing her out of the window, dude. Shut the fuck up. I apologized, okay? Take it or leave it. Ha 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 ha. What the fuck? She's even in a wheelchair, bro. You just made the situation ten times worse, Axel. Oh, my fucking god. I said I'm sorry. Axel, you shouldn't apologize to me. You should apologize to Sydney instead. Ugh, do I really have to do this? Well, duh. Or I won't consider you as my best friend anymore. Kill yourself. Now go ahead, apologize to her. I'll be watching you. Ugh, fine. Wait. Ha. Axel. Um, what are you doing here? I came to apologize. Ha. Sydney, my sincere apologies for throwing you out of the window for five months ago. That was very terrible of me, and I regret it. I don't ask for your forgiveness, but I'm really sorry for what I did. I really am. It's okay. Wait, you're not mad? Fortunately, no. But I need to tell you the truth about why me and Cindy asked your group for money. Huh? Come with us. Ah, oh, where are they going? I have to follow them. So what do you want to tell me? Do you know who is Sapphire? Yeah, I do know her. What about her? She is the one behind this. Huh? What do you mean? What I'm saying is that she is the one who made us ask the money from you guys because she wants to use y'all's money for her so-called marriage with Aphrodite in the future. What? What the fuck? But why? You know, Aphrodite is her biggest crush. Sapphire liked her for a long time. Wait, but how the hell do you guys even know her? We've been friends with her for years, I guess. She forced us to do this shit or else we... I get it. So yeah, to be honest, I don't blame you for throwing me out of the window but Sapphire for putting me into this mess. I apologize to you both. No need to. My friend is probably waiting for me, so I have to go. Oh, oh shit, shit he's, he's coming. coming, I better return, return to where we were talking. Well, thank you for telling me the truth, Sydney and Cindy. It's no problem. Rena, you won't believe what I just- I know. Huh? I know what Sapphire did. Forcing Cindy and Sydney to steal money from us, right? Huh? How do you know? I maybe have eavesdropped the conversation you had with the girls. Oh, I see. We need to tell Neva except Aphrodite and my sister. What? Why? It's better this way. At least give one reason. No, and if you tell them, then I'll do the same thing like you did to Sydney but ten times worse. Okay, ma'am. Such, Such a, a psychopath. psychopath. Good. Now, let's go tell Neva about this. Okay.
Ugh, finally it's weekend. I wish school didn't exist. I know, right? Hold up, I'll be right back. I got a phone call from my uncle. Oh, okay. Hello? Ah, uh, my dear niece. It's been a while since we last talked. What do you want? Are you at school right now? Um, yeah. Why? I will need you to come home. I have to tell you something very important. Do I really have to? And is it right now? Ugh, you have to come, and yes, it is right now. I'm expecting you to be here at 6 p.m. Can't you just come and pick me up? Number. Ugh, whatever, I'm coming. Arena? Yes? My uncle wants me to go back home because he has something important to tell me. Why couldn't he say it on the phone? Well, that's what I'm wondering right now. Hum. Can I go with you to keep company? Irina, my uncle hates when I invite guests without informing him two or three days before. Please, babe. Ugh, fine, but you're staying outside and you wait, okay? Okay. All right, stay here. I'll be right back. Okay. There you are. What's the so-called important thing you wanted to tell me? We are going to New Jersey for 11 days so, we are leaving Sunday. What? Why? For my company meeting, reunion, and you will be my assistant. Photo shoot, etc. Why me as your assistant? Why can't it be your wife? She has to take care of the kids Aphrodite. Well me and John can take care of- What I say is final young lady. Ugh, I can't believe this. I'm leaving. You better be here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, Ugh, wait up, you bitch. Um, are you okay? You look a bit down. I'll tell you when we get back. Okay, then. So, what happened? Irina, I won't be here with you for almost two weeks. Huh? Why? Ugh, for my uncle's company. I have to be his assistant for some shit. There's this photo shoot and there is more that he didn't tell me. Oh, oh. Where are you traveling? To New Jersey. Oh, that's not quite far, I guess. That's why when you are in danger, you will shout my name and I'll appear immediately, princess. Shut the fuck up, Aphrodite. I can protect myself. I like this brave side of you, you know? But I'm a bit stronger, cutie. I hate you. I love you more. But I'll have to leave tomorrow. Huh? Why? To pack my things. Oh, I see. Oh, come here, give me a hug. I'm gonna miss you even though you're just gone for a few days, Pookie. I'm gonna miss you to my cutie. But hey, promise me that you won't flirt or do any bullshit with someone else. I promise. Plus, most girls and guys here are not my type anyways. Hmm. Good. And you better come to my house and give me a goodbye kiss before I leave the state Sunday. Okay, okay. Are you really leaving now? Yeah, unfortunately. What's wrong? I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. Give me a hug. I will be okay. I'll text you every day, okay? Okay. The others can come to the dorm. Just make sure they don't make any mess or you could get in trouble. Okay, I get it. I have to go now. Oh, okay. Bye, love you. Bye, love you too. Text me when you get back. Okay. I'll tell my sister, Axel and Neva to come over. What? So she left 20 minutes ago to do her luggages because she is leaving the state tomorrow? Yeah, she is going to New Jersey. Oh, that's not that far. Guys, Kai and Ethan are transferring schools. So that means they will study here from now on Tuesday. I forgot to tell you guys that. Wait, really? Oh my god. We can finally see them every day from now on. Oh my fucking god, I can't believe I'll be seeing these to assholes again. Oh, come on, Neva, don't ruin this moment. Whatever you big fat bitch. Y'all want to play truth or dare? No, I'm good. Aw, oh, Arena doesn't want to play truth or dare because her lover is not here with us. Shut the fuck up, Axel. It's true, Arena. I hate you guys. Fine, I will play. Ha 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 ha, that's my sister. Hum, what time is it? 
2.30 p.m., what I forgot that it's today that Aphrodite is leaving. God, I better go see her or she'll get furious. Ugh, where is she? Get in the car, Aphrodite. We're gonna be late. Wait a little. I'm sure she's coming. Aphrodite, don't make me repeat again. Ugh, fine. Wait. You're coming with me. Excuse us five minutes, uncle. Ch fine. Five minutes, not more. Hey. So? Mind explaining where were you? I'm sorry. I didn't see the time, but you didn't have to drag me like that, ugh. Hmm. Okay. Are you really leaving? I have no choice. Me and the others will miss you very much. I will miss you guys too. Oh, and by the way, Ethan and Kai will study to our school beginning from Tuesday. Oh, really? That's great news. Do they know that I won't be here for almost two weeks? Nope, I will tell them when they will arrive. All right, so you remember what I told you two days ago? Don't go near Sapphire. Don't talk to her. Don't interact with her. Nothing. Yeah, I get it, no worries. So, my goodbye kiss. Okay. Bye-bye. Please travel safely. Thanks, bye. I should head back. Is this the school? I guess. It's big though. Wait, is that Rena and Axel? Oh my fuck yes, it's them. Let's go see them. Yo, guys. Oh. My god. Ethan and Kai. Oh my god, Kai and Ethan. Whoa, easy there, Rena. Kai. Why me? It's good to see you, bro. It's good to see you too, man. Wait, where is Arena and Neva? Oh, they must be inside. Well, let's go, shall we? There they are, sister, Neva. It's Kai and Ethan. Oh, hey, Ethan and Kai. Oh, hell nah. Not those two assholes. Oh, come on, Neva. Be at least happy that we are studying here now and that we get to see you guys more often. Yeah, no. Wait, we are missing one person. Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Where is she? Oh yeah, um, she won't be here with us for a few days since she traveled to New Jersey for some personal reasons. Damn, I guess Kai and I need to wait for a few more days till we actually see her. Anyways, Ethan, we got to get our schedule. But we don't know where the principal's office is, you fucking idiot. I'll guide you guys. Thanks. Thanks. We'll be right back, y'all. I miss my stupid idiot Aphrodite. Don't worry, girl. Time will go fast. Yeah, and when she will be back, y'all can cuddle every day in bed. Might as well make kids. Axel. Hum, why Aphrodite wasn't here yesterday and isn't here today either? I should maybe text her but not in the classroom. Teacher? Yes, Sapphire? May I go to the restroom? I promise I won't take long. HM. Okay, sure, you can go but make it quick. Thank you. Time to text her and wait. <coughs> Chi Chi, I'm so bored. Why did my uncle had to drag me into this mess? Huh? Who could it be? Huh? Sapphire? Why is she texting me? So she is in New Jersey for a few days? Hehe, <laughs> this makes it even easier for my second plan, but I'll have to ask for some help from Jackson and Noah. I've seen them in the hallway so I'll go to them. Hey boys! Hey Sapphire, 
Um, why are you here? I need you guys to do a favor for me. I like. Let's go to a quiet place. This will be easier for me to tell you guys. Okay. okay. What? I know that me and Noah both dislike Rina. But you want us to kidnap her. Isn't that too far? I'll pay you both $100. Huh? Um, what do you say, bro? Should we do it? I mean, it's money. Of course I would do anything for money. Hum, since Jackson says yes, then I'm in. Very well. I heard Arena said that she'll be at the coffee shop at 7.30 p.m. and will leave at 8 p.m. So I want you guys to meet me behind the shop at 7.50 p.m. Got it? Got, Got it. it. And make sure you guys wear black clothes and a mask, or Arena will be able to recognize you both. Got it. Hum, it's 7.45. These guys should arrive here in five minutes. How stupid of me. I decided to kidnap Arena earlier than expected, but I could play with her for a few days when I'll hold her hostage until her birthday and then I will kill her. Ha 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 ha. I found the perfect place where no one will find her. Aphrodite, you will be mine. Just you wait. Hum. I see you guys arrived three minutes early, huh? I just want this money. Alright so, what are we supposed to do? Since she is getting out of the coffee shop in a few minutes, let her walk for five seconds but follow her quietly, and after you guys catch her and choke her until she faints and you bring her to me. That's easy. I know right. It's 8pm, she should get out by now. Now go. I, that was easy. Shut the fuck up, you didn't even do anything. Anyways, I can't believe we are going to get $100 just for this small thing. I know, right? Let's go take. Ah, oh, my arm. Fuck. Yo, bro, are you okay? Someone threw a knife on my fucking arm. Bro, are you okay? You're. Fuck. How dare you? Huh, what was that? Aphrodite, shit, I need to run. Aphrodite, but I thought she was in New Jersey. How fucking dare you touch Arena? Who the fuck are you? I won't tell you. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, Jackson. Who sent you? Who fucking sent you? I can't tell you. I guess I will have to kill you then. Yeah, fine, it was Sapphire. Oh, oh I, I fucking, fucking knew, knew it. it. Chi Chi, you don't need to worry. Your friend is not dead. The knife that I threw on him made him faint, but I suggest you to take your friend and bring him to the hospital because he is losing blood. Ugh, fine, you psychopath. Of these fuckers, they dare to touch Arena, especially Sapphire. I'll make you pay, you bitch. Ugh, my head hurts. I don't even remember what happened yesterday. All I remember is that I was walking outside to go back to my dorm and after I fainted out of nowhere. Uh, a note? Let me see. What? From Sapphire? Hum, let me see. Hey, I heard that you fainted yesterday, but there are two guys behind the situation. If you want to know about it, then come meet me at the rooftop at break time. Hum, I guess I'll have to go meet her then. You told me to meet you here. Yes. So what is it? You know Jackson and Noah? Yeah, I do know them. They are the main problem of this. How, what do you mean? Watch this short clip that I recorded to understand. Hey, <laughs> that was easy. Shut the fuck up, you didn't even do anything. Anyways, I can't believe we are going to get $100 just for this small thing. I know, right? Let's go take- Ah, oh, my arm. Fuck. Yo bro, are you okay? Someone threw a knife on my fucking arm. Bro, are you okay? You're... Fuck.
What the actual fuck? They wanted to kidnap you. But why? I wish I knew why, but I reported it to the principal and they are suspended for one month and having troubles with the cops. But Noah is at the hospital because he received a knife on his arm. I see. But didn't they mention about getting $100 for kidnapping me? Oh, haha, -ha, yeah. So there is a third person behind this to then? I can tell, but I don't know who is the third person, unfortunately. She is she kinda, kinda suspicious, suspicious, but at least she told me what happened yesterday, but wait. If she was the one who gave me the note, then how the hell did she enter my dorm? Sapphire. Yes. If you are the one who gave me the note to meet you here, then how did you enter my dorm? You're not in the same dorm as me. Oh, uh, your dorm window was open. Ha ha. Uh, but I thought it was closed. No, it was open, so it was easy for me to give you the note. Oh, I see. Well, thanks for telling me things that I needed to know. No problem. I better get going. See ya. Oh, bye. Ah, stupid, stupid girl. girl, she doesn't know that I have one of her dorm keys. How stupid could she be having Aphrodite's key with her when she could just keep it at her dorm? Please come back to me, Axel. I'm so sorry for cheating on you. I really didn't mean it. It was a mistake, okay? It was not a mistake. You chose to do it. So I don't know why I should forgive you for this. Please, baby. Okay, this is fucking disgusting. Can you, like, shut the fuck up, girl? If you really loved him, then why the fuck did you cheat on him? Shut up, bitch. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, so you want to fight? I mean, sure, since you are annoying and won't mind your business. Wait. Neva. All right, then bring it on, bitch. Can you guys shut the fuck up? What's going on? I can literally hear you guys arguing from 10 feet away, bro. This bitch right here has been spying on us for a while and she keeps begging Axel to go back with her. But I don't talk. Also, where is that boyfriend of yours? Shouldn't you be with him right now? Well, haha. -ha. He cheated on me. And I realize that you are much better than him. Lal Karma's a fat bitch, you piece of shit. Isn't that what you did to me too? I don't want to see you ever again, Leah. Please go away. Oh, fine. Ugh, finally she's gone. So fucking annoying that she can make my ears bleed within 10 minutes. I can tell. Seriously, what an ugly bitch. Can't believe Axel dated an ugly girl like her Lamau. I'll be alone for some time. Poor Axel. I know, right? Only if this girl didn't cheat. I honestly want to be her motherfucker. Shut up, Neva. I get it, lol. Hum. Ugh, I feel like skipping school. This is so boring without Aphrodite, but she is coming back soon, I guess. Sapphire? What the hell is she doing here? Uh, hey. Um, what are you doing here, Sapphire? I came to apologize. What? Apologize for what? For how I acted when I found out that you and Aphrodite were together. That was a bit immature of me. I've realized that you guys are the perfect match, haha. <laughs> oh, um, I guess I forgive you. Oh, and uh, I've heard a lot of times that Aphrodite said stuffs about me to you, like I'm planning on doing something bad to you, but I would never do such things. You're a good person and that would be cruel of me if I did anything to you. I understand. Thanks for telling me. It's no problem. I feel, I feel like, like texting Aphrodite, she always responds within seconds when she is not busy anyways.
Your birthday is tomorrow, Arena. Are you excited? Well, yeah, but I'm even more excited because Aphrodite is coming back today. Wait, what, really? Yeah, I texted her two days ago and she told me that she will come back today, but I don't know what hour. Well, seems like she is coming back early than expected, haha. Where do you want to celebrate your birthday, Arena? At a small private restaurant would be okay and the rest at my house. Sounds good. I will inform the others about this. I will go to the restroom. Be right back, guys. Okay. okay. Arena. Oh, hey, Sapphire. What do you need? Follow me. I have to tell you something. Oh, okay. What do you want to tell me? Happy birthday, Arena. I know everything. And yes, I know that your birthday is tomorrow. But I decided to say it early because I brought you a special drink that I made. Oh? I don't even know what flavor it is, but trust me, you love it. I even tasted it myself and it's so good. Oh, I see. Here, have a drink. Thank you. So, is it good? Whoa, I did not expect that. It's really good. I'm glad you love it, hee hee. Wait, Wait, why is my body suddenly so weak? What did you do? Perfect. I think I passed out. Hum, why can't I feel my powers? This is weird. Sapphire? Oh, you're awake. You passed out earlier, so I brought you here. Oh, thanks. This, this is, is so, so annoying. annoying. Arena. Yeah? I think the drink I gave you made you pass out. But I might know why. Oh, why then? Come closer and I will tell you. Oh, okay? The drink that I gave you was to remove your powers for a day and prevent you from Aphrodite for help. I put a drug in the drink. Ah, uh, look at you. What the hell? Allow me to tell you everything. You stole Aphrodite away from me. Remember when Sydney and Cindy were stealing your and your group's money it's because I told them to do it and that way me and Aphrodite can have a perfect marriage in the future. What? Ugh you bitch. If those two losers didn't obey me then they would have ended up in the same way as you right now. Oh, remember when you almost got kidnapped? It's because I wanted Jackson and Noah to kidnap you. I was about to pay them $100 but uh, these bastards failed. What a shame Noah is at the hospital for a surgery for his arm ha ha ha. I even pretended that I was not involved with the kidnap attempt. Remember when I gave you the note that you wondered how I got into your dorm and that I said your window was open? Well, I lied. Here is why. Isn't, Isn't that, that Rena's key? key? Hum, ah, I guess this would be useful. I never returned that key. When we were at the rooftop that day and you asked me how I entered your room, I had to make a lie. The key would have been useful for my next plan. Ugh, why are you doing this? Do I really have to repeat myself? You fucking stole Aphrodite away from me. When I found out that you and Aphrodite were together, I got furious, angry, sad. My emotions were so strong that it started mixing all over my body. The reason why I entered your dorm, out of nowhere two days ago. I failed to kill you that day because, I heard your footsteps. I decided to make an apology and a speech about Aphrodite doubting me. But let's say, that apology was, fake. You you are insane. I didn't transfer to this school just to study, but to get closer with Aphrodite so I can have my chance to be with her. I liked her for years, but you fucking ruined it so now I will end you. Ugh, you fucking pussy. Oh, 
And one more thing before I leave, you know Aphrodite's parents' death, where they died in a tragic accident, well the truth is that it is not the cause of their death, bah ha ha you might not believe me but, I'm their cause of their death. I shot them both with a gun five times when I was 11 years old, which means four years ago when they got out of a restaurant. You what? Why the fuck would you do such thing like that? And how the fuck did you learn how to use a fucking gun at 11 years old? She was so clingy to her parents, and I hated it. I didn't want anyone to be close to Aphrodite. I wanted her all to myself and no one else. And how did I learn to use a gun? Well, my dad was a mafia leader. I borrow one of his guns and kill Aphrodite's parents. But Aphrodite's aunt was with her parents. She got out of the restaurant after I shot Aphrodite's parents and she was me with the gun. She tried to call the cops but I threatened her to not tell anyone or else she would have been next. Fuck I should have listened to Aphrodite.